The fantasy drama ended in the mid-2000s, and a lot has happened in that time. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we're looking at the charmed cast, where are they now? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're catching up with the cast of Charmed and seeing what they've been up to since the show ended in May 2006. Number 7. Drew Fuller Thanks for saving my life. Hope it wasn't for nothing. Drew Fuller was a professional model before being cast as Chris Hallowell. He modeled for esteemed names like Prada and Tommy Hilfiger, while also appearing in commercials for J. Crew and Pepsi. And while he dabbled in acting before his time on Charmed, including appearing in the pilot for The O.C., it was his role as Chris that made him a bona fide star. I did the math, and if I'm not conceived by midnight tonight, that's it. I won't be born, which means I won't be coming back from the future to warn you about Wyatt turning evil. After Charmed, Drew starred in the Lifetime series Army Wives, where he played Lieutenant Trevor LeBlanc for six full seasons. While Drew continues to act, he's mostly appeared in little-known movies like Beyond Brotherhood in 2017, also popping up on shows like Longmire and All Wrong in the late 2010s. What? No, no hey, baby, say something. Tell him there is no way I could ever Stop kill Julia. Stop it, you're hurting her. You stay out of it. This trip, this entire wedding has been nothing but the two of you. Number 6. Julian McMahon What happened to us, Phoebe? How'd we get here? Like Fuller, Julian McMahon was also a professional model. While he studied law and economics at university, he eventually dropped out to pursue modeling full-time, despite having a father who was once the Australian Prime Minister. I've been through so much together, haven't we? Our love's so strong, nothing can destroy it, not even this. He also began acting in commercials before securing a role in the Australian soap opera Home and Away. He eventually landed the role of Cole Turner on Charmed, which substantially raised his profile. We're meant to be together. He would go on to star as Dr. Christian Troy on FX's Nip Tuck from 2003 to 2010, and appeared in six episodes of Sci Fi's Hunters in 2016. We're plastic surgeon Sean, the literal faces of this business. Looking our age is as bad as having a stained carpet in the waiting room. Have you ever seen a fat personal trainer? As of 2017, he could be seen as Jonah on Hulu's Runaways and is set to star as Jess Lacroix in CBS drama FBI Most Wanted in 2019. All of the preparation, everything I've done, is so that you and I can have a future together. Come with me. Now isn't that more fun than a career in law? Number 5. Brian Krauss. Elders aren't allowed to drink. Brian Krauss played Leo Wyatt for 144 episodes, making him the most prominent male actor on the show. Unfortunately, he hasn't attained the same level of mainstream success as Julian McMahon. I don't think he was after a white lighter. I think he was after me. Or Wyatt. Like Drew Fuller, Brian has appeared in many little-known films over the years, with most of them falling firmly into B-movie territory. He can be seen in 2010's movies like Breaking Into Hell, Coffin Baby, and Kukui the Boogeyman. Does Glimmer uh, Peak have a serial killer? It's still an ongoing case, so I'm not going to discuss specifics at this time. But hey, it seems like steady work, and he clearly loves doing it, so more power to him. And considering what he achieved on Charmed, his pop culture legacy is already firmly established. He's set to appear in three movies throughout 2019, Trauma Therapy, Peter Pan Land of Forever, and Jessica Frost. Set your calendars. Wouldn't you have made the most gorgeous bride ever? Oh. Would you be on my team? I hope you like to swing. <laughs> <laughs> Number 4. Rose McGowan Paige. My name is Paige. Hmm. Another P, imagine that. Rose McGowan is arguably more popular now than she's ever been, but the late 90s and 2000s were arguably the highlight of her acting career. I mean, Dua was saying this is the worst crime they've seen in years, even worse than. Well. She starred as Tatum in Scream before replacing Shannon Doherty in Charmed, where she played Paige Matthews. What you guys turned me into? After Charmed, she starred in the Planet Terror segment of Grindhouse as machine gun legged stripper Cherry Darling. I need a dramatic change in my life. Rose has since become a prominent activist within the Me Too movement. In January 2018, she released her memoir Brave, in which she recounts her alleged sexual assault at the hands of Harvey Weinstein. I wish 
just one person would have stood up and said no more because so many people had so many chances to put a stop to this. She was also the subject of a four-part documentary called Citizen Rose. In 2017, she and the rest of the Silence Breakers were honored as Time's Person of the Year. Here's your new life, baby girl. Good one at that. Number three, Shannon Doherty. Look, you just stay here with Griffiths, all right? If Shax comes back, say the spell to fend him off. Shannon Doherty was once a teen icon for her roles in Heather's, Beverly Hills 90210, and of course, as Prue Hallowell in Charmed. Don't worry, he's gonna fix it. I promise you're gonna be fine. However, tensions allegedly ran high on the show, and she left after the third season. <laughs> With that, her star abruptly faded. She's mostly been relegated to made-for-TV movies, although she's also hosted a few reality shows centered around herself, including Breaking Up With Shannon Doherty and Shannon Says. I got a girl out here, too. My friend on Lana. Did you know that? Oh. You have a girlfriend out here? Yeah. Unfortunately, Shannon was diagnosed with an advanced form of breast cancer in 2015 and underwent two years of chemo and radiotherapy. I mean, I felt that it was important for, for me to be very transparent about the fact that cancer can happen to anybody. Mm -hmm. It doesn't discriminate. The cancer luckily went into remission in 2017, and she's since starred in a few episodes of Paramount Network's reboot of Heathers, among other roles. It looks like her career is coming full circle. Number two, Holly Marie Combs. That's okay. My life has always been a little Crazy. From 1992 to 1996, Holly Marie Combs played Kimberly Brock on the CBS drama Picket Fences. You're a senior in high school. What are you going to do with a baby? Only two years later, her next major role came as middle sister Piper Hallowell. Okay, so why don't you guys just tell me what's going on? Holly continues to do quite well for herself. In 2017, she finished a seven-season stint on Pretty Little Liars, where she played Arya's mother, Ella Montgomery. I'm so glad we finally told you now we don't have to sneak around anymore. In that time, she also reunited with Shannon Doherty for a tour of the southeastern United States, which was chronicled in the reality show Off the Map with Shannon and Holly. Squirrel! Where? You can't, you can't, you cannot yell out stuff like that. <laughs> You just can't. Her personal life is also going well, as she became engaged to her boyfriend Mike in 2017. We wish her all the best. Number one, Alyssa Milano. We're almost done. Almost doesn't work for me. With over 40 TV credits to her name, Alyssa Milano is one of the most prominent actresses currently working in television. Alyssa first rose to fame in the late 80s, starring as Samantha Michelli on Who's the Boss? before an extended stint on Melrose Place in the late 90s. No, oh, Dad, what we're trying to say is we'll miss you, but we'll be okay. Suffice to say, she was already a well-known actress before starring as Phoebe Hallowell for all 178 episodes of Charmed. I'm sorry, too. Since that time, she starred as Savvy Davis on Mistresses, Renata on Wet Hot American Summer 10 years later, and has judged both Project Runway All-Stars and RuPaul's Drag Race. The baby's future depends on the name in that envelope, okay? And I have to find out so that I can at least try to make it work. As of 2018, you can catch her on Netflix's Insatiable as Cora Lee. So, uh, should I just lock up when I leave then, or what? Needless to say, Alyssa is still a queen on the small screen. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.